Hi and welcome to my playhouse and today I have a very interesting test that I want to perform and for this test I have to thank my patrons because this is uh, something that I would not normally go out and spend money on but with the patron support I thought that it was okay to try this out because maybe it would be able to help someone else up here I have the older awesome IBM slash Lenovo X3650 model 1 and this is an older server it uses DDR2 RAM and the paperwork for this server says that it has a maximum of well you can put in 48 gigabytes of RAM in this server and then it's maxed out um, but that's with 4 gigabyte memory sticks and um, rumors will have it that it actually does see 8 gigabyte memory sticks but as this is DDR2 RAM they're kind of rare and ever so slightly overpriced so with the generous donations on patreon i have purchased enough ram to fill this up with eight gigabyte memory blocks so that's what we're going to be trying today see if this old server will actually do more than the 48 gigabytes that it claims to be max according to the paperwork often this is because ibm did not have eight gigabyte blocks for this and when the 8 gigabyte blocks came out well the server would no longer be sold so they didn't update the specs for it I found the same thing with the model 2 which I had three of right here it claims to have a maximum memory that you can put in of 128 gigabytes considerably more but that was with 8 gigabyte sticks and I was able to upgrade that to 16 gigabyte sticks and it worked and it would do 256 gigabytes so we're gonna try the same today with the, the model one so the ram that i got for this is here it um i found it on ebay and it came in from uh, from israel unfortunately my favorite hardware shop did not have this bargain hardware in the uk uh, so i had to go and purchase it elsewhere so these are hp branded Oh, reflections. Yeah, if we can see it when we get it out of the bag. And these are 8 gigabytes, 2RX4, PC2, 5300F, 55511, blah, 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 blah. They were $134 for these 12 blocks. Yeah, a bit expensive. So the M1 that we are putting it in has two X5450s, um, 3 gigahertz processors and we should get the amount of RAM. Right now it has 24 gigabytes of RAM. So I um, just wanted to make sure that this was working. Oh, ish, it doesn't have a boot drive, but never mind that. So I started making YouTube videos back in 2014 and back then I highly recommended this server. It was a really good server at the time. It's still a really good server, but less power hungry um, editions has come since I would not suggest you to go get one of these today uh, except if you get it for very cheap they are very nice to have sitting in the rack as a play toy but as a 24 7 they are just too power hungry now let's get the lid off here <clears throat> still a good server here we are another tripod this one is like 10 centimeters higher or something so we need to get into the itchy gritchy. This is the riser card. The server comes with X8 slots. Underneath that is the plastic cover that hides the RAM. I see that I have a happy mess of RAM in here. Yeah, it looks like there's a little of everything. Uh, this server takes the RAM blocks two at a time. So you have to put in two blocks of RAM, otherwise it will be complaining. So we need to take all of this RAM out and we can see what it is along the way. Oh, and if you need, to figure out what, how the RAM goes in. Uh, I have done multiple videos on that. It's under metal on the riser card, it's over here. If you're putting in two dims, it's one and four. If you're putting in four dims, it's one, four, seven, ten, and so on, until you're filling it up. We will start by testing if it will see two RAM blocks. Let's see what we have here. We have some two gigabyte. This one is a, oh, it's a Dell block and it's also a two gigabyte. This 
one should be a 2 gigabyte as well and then this one should also be a 2 gigabyte and then there's a new one this one is a huh, 2 gigabyte who would have thought there are probably 2 gigabyte all of them then that adds up doesn't it no no there must be a couple of fours this one is four yeah because there were two blocks missing here and i could see that uh, if there was just 10 2 gigabytes that would give off 20 gigabytes of ram but with two four gigabyte blocks in there and that's up it becomes 24 gigabytes of memory so all of this older memory here uh, will be available in my shop so that i can get some of the money back so let's put in some of the new memory <laughs> i hadn't cleaned up since last time i was missing out here so there were still scissors available so let's cut this open take two blocks out of here there. and we can just have a better look at it yeah we are you can see the 8 gigabyte 2rx4 uh, and the 8p sticker over here they did say that there would be two Hynix here but uh, well, I ordered 10 that was Hewlett Packard branded and two of them would just be Hynix but they ended up being Hewlett Packard branded, all of them. Doesn't matter, the server will not know the difference. So, I believe we were talking about number one and number four. So we'll put those in, those two blocks. So this is number one. The next one will be number four. Two, three, four. Yeah. Okay, this one has a little bit of damage here. I guess we can fix that. There. We will close the server up and see if that works. If it doesn't see two blocks of memory, there is not much chance that it's gonna see all of them. Thing we want to put on the lab uh, it's gonna be fine I have connected the cables and it's now turning on the server and do we get anything yes 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 We should get 16 gigabytes of memory if um, if this works. 16 gigabytes of memory. We're getting there. I'll hurry up and shut it down again. So rumors will have it that this server can do about 64 gigabytes of memory. So we need to put in some more memory. And let's see, eight gigabytes. That means that one and two has to be occupied. There. Three, nothing. And then number four needs as well. Oh, it still goes that way. Oh, four. And that was four. Four and five, yeah. There. And then we need number seven. Six, seven. And number eight. Ten and eleven, so number nine down here. No, nope. but the next one over here. Really could not remember. Oh, this one is dirty. How dare they? Those Israelis. Oh, okay. I couldn't remember which one was. Um, this is ten, eleven, twelve. But I couldn't remember if it started from here, and this would be ten, eleven, twelve. So uh, luckily, there is some help on this plastic thing. Here. They actually say here that this is 10, 11, 12. So, and I have to put in number 10 and number 11. So, that's number 10. So that's eight blocks of memory in, and eight times eight is 64. So let's see. Um, 
if this will work for us. I have been around the back and put in the cable, so we have to turn it on. Now we're gonna go down and see the screen. Reflection out of the screen. Yeah. Come on, IBM. Yes, it sees RAM. It should. Still sees the CPUs. That's good because we haven't messed with those at all. Come on. 65 gigabytes of memory. That's the most memory I've ever had in this server model. Awesome. Still nothing to boot on. That's nice. Let's go the full way. Four blocks to go. So I put in the last four memory blocks. That's no problem. Now there is eight gigabytes in all of them, so there was no trouble with which order they go in. So now we can power that on. This is going to be very exciting. It does come up with this part. That's good. I put the drives back in. Uh, same CPUs. I can't remember if there's anything to boot off on those. Drum roll! 82 gigabytes of memory! Holy moly! Well, it is complaining up here, exclamation mark. And when I check that, it says memory. So, it did not come with any errors back here. It's actually a memory error, number 9 and number 12. It. Okay, I've been trying some stuff without you. Uh, right now it's booting VMware ESXi 6.5 and it sees 56 gigabytes of memory. I have taken two blocks out. Uh, these were the blocks that was in uh, slot number uh, 9 and 12. And no matter what I did, I couldn't get those two blocks in those two slots to, um, to show up. Uh, whenever there was something in those slots, the server would do a memory error. I tried to swap those two memory blocks around with, a, with two memory blocks in another group and that didn't help any. It was still 9 and 12. That was uh, buggy. That is the last pair in the server. So um, maybe the 64 gigabyte limit is right. Right now it's kind of weird. Okay, I had an instance where uh, it showed up with uh, 73 gigabytes of memory. It's probably more like 72 gigabytes of memory, but it's probably because there's another block that isn't great. So right now I have the server sitting out here because I really got tired of walking forth and back and taking the cables off. So I have a couple of good switches there so I can turn on and off the server. So let's see what the memory comes up with. 82 gigabytes of memory, okay. I'll let it boot ESXi and see what that sees. Oh, yeah, memory size has changed, that is correct. It keeps booting. Let's see what the memory says now. 82 gigabytes. Mm. So now it's gonna be trying to boot ESXi. It's gonna go good for a little bit. gonna run a couple of these screens and then it's just gonna become very very black there and it does not recover from that it just boots and starts over so yeah and that takes a while so I think we need to take out uh, two more blocks this is my cheat setup I have two switches here one for each of the power supplies and I can turn off the server so I don't have to disconnect everything and take the go around the back and yeah it's easier so yeah I'm gonna take out two more blocks that's gonna be three and six and now we're down to 64 gigabytes of memory I am trying the installation of server 2019 and I have already tried this once and it uh, it just booted and it shut down so um, yeah I am doing this the 
IBM X 3650 model one only has USB one. This takes forever. The loading of the files takes something like a good half hour. Yeah, this is very exciting. Hmm. And it just shut down. Didn't even tell me anything, it just shut down. I took out another two uh, blocks of memory and 48 gigabytes it boots. Now we're down at the same level as with uh, if we fill it up with four gigabyte blocks. So no extra RAM, but only half amount of sticks. There's only six sticks in there. So uh, yeah, that works. Mm. I cheated and I put in a couple of four gigabyte blocks. So now we are back at 56. So now we are back at 56 gigabytes. Apparently it, um, that is okay for it. Okay, I tried to put in a couple of two gigabyte blocks in there and that didn't go well. Uh, suddenly there was only 36 gigabytes of memory. Then I um, put in another eight. I took the twos out and I put in a couple of eights and the two fours and now it's rebooting. So uh, I think 56 gigabytes might be maximum that we can reach. It does see the memory out here, but it fails to boot. Okay, so that is where we're at. We, uh, we did learn something today. The awesome Lenovo slash IBM X3650 Model 1 can take in these eight gigabyte DDR2 blocks. Um, you can't fill it up with them anymore. Well, you can, and then the server won't boot. If you take um, the two last one out, it will show you the right RAM amount, but it still won't boot. If you take out uh, half of the RAM, it will work. Then you're down to 48 gigabytes of memory, and that works. And I was able to put in two four gigabyte uh, blocks extra, so I was able to increase the memory in the server with eight gigabytes of memory. This was kind of expensive knowledge because these weren't that cheap. Uh, but now I have enough memory to upgrade two servers instead of one. Ish. Uh, upgrading in the regard that a memory block, if it's one gigabyte or if it's eight gigabyte, it uses just about the same amount of power. So taking six blocks out of the server saves quite an amount of power. These blocks somewhere between five and eight watts I would expect so taking out six of them that is 30 to 50 watts ish that the server will use less um, this way uh, the extra eight gigabytes of memory well at this time of date it doesn't really matter but I'm sure back when this server was in production and maybe at its end of life uh, it would have been great to be able to put in eight more gigabytes of memory for the rare occasion where that was needed. I will again send a thank you to my patrons which has supported this project by making me um, willing to spend the amount of money on this. This is a server that is no longer widely used so it's a bit of overkill to try and upgrade it by now but um, if you have a server like this or a Hewlett Packard DL380 Generation 5 or a Dell Power Edge 2950. Uh, I have the RAM for it. <laughs> so uh, visit my little store and uh, see if you can find the RAM. If you can't find the RAM for your server, do send me a message and I'll try and help you out as good as I can. I'm not going to be selling these 8GB DDR2 RAM blocks but I have lots of 4, 1s and 2s that you will be able to get there for some amount of money, I forget. But remember, we did learn something today, so please give this video a thumbs up downstairs. And thank you very much for watching my videos. Do subscribe to my channel so that you can see me again. And have a really nice day. Bye bye.